In this video, you'll see how to offer customers a PDF invoice of their purchase on your MemberPress website. This experience gives both you and your customers a really easy way to keep track of records with downloadable and printable invoices. And it makes everything legit and branded with your custom logo. When someone buys a membership or product, they can easily download an invoice for every transaction, and you can too. You can also email it to customers and yourself automatically, right when a purchase is made. So in this video, first you'll see how to install the MemberPress PDF invoice add-on. And then you'll see how to customize your invoice template. We'll see what the process looks like for your customers. And finally, I'll show you how you can view all the invoices on your site. Before you get started, you'll need to have the MemberPress plugin installed on your WordPress site. And then you'll need to install the PDF invoice add-on. To do that, go to MemberPress here on the left sidebar and add-ons. And then find PDF invoice. And then click to install and activate the add-on. Once it's activated, now you can go to MemberPress, Settings, and the Info tab. And then you'll see a section for PDF Invoice Settings. So here's where you can choose what you want the PDF invoice to look like and what will be included on it. Now all these options are pretty self-explanatory, so I'm going to just give you a quick and basic rundown of all of them here. First, you can choose between two preset designs, simple or modern. And then you can select a paper size and then set it to be portrait or landscape. Next, here's your email and phone number that you can choose to display on the invoice. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. So right now I'll just enter my phone number and a business email for me. Next here, you can select a logo file that will display on the top of your invoice. Make sure your image is a JPEG, PNG, or GIF file that's at least 400 pixels wide. You want a minimum of that size so it's not blurry or pixelated on the invoice. So I'll go ahead and upload my logo file here, just like that. And moving on, invoice number format uses the invoice number to label your invoices. And below, you can select another piece of information to display in place of the invoice number or multiple pieces of information by just choosing them here and then clicking insert but we recommend just sticking with the invoice number to make things easy. Also, if you need to add some text before and after the invoice number, you can do that here too. So in other words, you can add whatever you want before this invoice number, like IN- for example, if for whatever reason you need a prefix. And you could also add some characters after it too. So in this case right here, the invoice number would be IN-100 or whatever the invoice number is. So that's available for you if you need it. And then for next invoice number, enter a number that you want your future invoices to start at. And it's recommended that you start with a number higher than the latest transaction ID that you have. So if I go to member press and transactions here in a new tab, you can see here under the ID column, this is my latest transaction ID number. So I'm gonna wanna use a number higher than this. So on your site, just be sure to use a number higher than your latest ID number. So I'll go back to the settings. And I'm just going to enter 100 for mine to start. Next up, you have your business address. And you'll also notice an editor that you can use here. So you can see it'll display my business name, address line 1 and 2, city, state, etc. And here you can select what dynamic content you want to display here and then you just click insert to make it show up on your invoice. So if you remember, I set up a phone number and email up here. So I can include those things here if I want to. So I'll select biz phone from the dropdown and then insert that. And then down here, I'll go to the dropdown again and I'll select biz email and I'll insert that here too. So this will display the phone number and email that I entered above under all this information here. And you can see what that looks like on a sample invoice on screen. And then next, you have the same thing here for your customer's address. So you can see here that it'll display their full name, address, and email, which I collect from them at sign up. And again, you could add a bunch of other information by selecting it here in the dropdown, and then just clicking insert. 
Next, you can edit the notes that will show up at the bottom. So you can see that it just says, thanks for choosing, and then it'll display your business name, which, if I scroll up, is set here under Merchant Business Address. And the same for your other business information too, like your address. So that's where the biz address, biz city, biz state, etc. is coming from. So scrolling back down, last you see footnotes, which is the text at the very bottom of the invoice. So you can edit this text too. And then here you can select the color that you see here on the invoice. Okay, so once you have all this set, just be sure to click Update Options here at the bottom to save all your changes. So now that my PDF invoice settings are saved, I'll show you what this process looks like for your customers. So I'm gonna open my site up in a new incognito window, so I'm not logged in as my site's admin user. If you're not familiar with it, opening your site in an incognito window is really useful for testing since it lets you view your site as if you're a brand new site visitor. So here on my site, I'll go to sign up, and then click to buy a membership. Here on the registration page, I'll go ahead and sign up with some testing information that I just make up. And some test credit card information. And once it's all filled out, I'll click sign up. It'll take a moment to process. And I can see the transaction went through. Okay, and then now as this test customer who just bought a membership, I'll head to their member account page. This is the page your members can go to get to their payment information and subscription information and more. It's automatically created for your members by MemberPress and it's your site slash account by default. So this is where your members are gonna go to get their invoices. And also just one note, I'm using MemberPress's built-in automatic page styler ready launch to style my member account page, which you see here. If you're not familiar with it, see our knowledge base on ready launch to see what it is and how it works. And if you're not using Ready Launch Styling, your member account page will look different depending on what WordPress theme you're using. But this process will work the same for your members. Okay, so as my test customer, here on the account page, if I go to the Payments tab and click right here next to the payment, you can see this option for PDF. And if I click on that, here's the PDF invoice. And the customer can download it here too if they want to. So here in the invoice, you can see my logo, all my information, the invoice number starting with 100, so 101, the customer information and address, the cost breakdown of my membership, the notes, and the footnote at the very bottom. So your customer can come into their account page and download or access their invoice anytime they need to. And as the site admin, if you make changes to the invoice in the settings, those changes will be reflected anytime customers view their invoice after that. Okay, so going back to my WordPress dashboard, another thing to note is that your customers will also get a copy of the PDF invoice emailed to them if you have the payment receipt email enabled. So to show you that, if I go to member press settings in the emails tab, if you have the payment receipt email enabled here under member notices, they'll get a copy of the PDF invoice attached to this email. And here's a sample of what that email looks like. So you can see the payment receipt email here and the PDF invoice attached to it. Also, going back to the emails tab of the settings, here under admin emails and notices, if you have the payment receipt email enabled here, which sends an email to you for every transaction that occurs on your site, you'll also get a copy of the PDF invoice email to you as the site admin too. So as long as you have the PDF invoice add-on set up, you'll get those emails if you have them enabled. Okay, one last thing I'll show you. To easily search for transactions and download an invoice for each, you can hop into MemberPress and Transactions. And then just find or search and filter for whatever transaction that you want here. And then hover over the transaction and just click PDF Invoice, which will open up the invoice right in your browser. And that's it. You've now seen how to use the PDF Invoice add-on in MemberPress. See our knowledge base page on the PDF invoice add-on for more information. And be sure to follow our blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips and tricks on all things MemberPress. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.